God bless y'all. My name is Jonathan Kayo, and uh, I have a word to the Laodicean church. Okay, the Laodicean church is the lukewarm church that is neither hot nor cold. And God said he, uh, Jesus, the son of God, uh, Jesus, God, the son, he said that he wish you be cold or hot, you know, but you couldn't make up your mind, you know, because he can rather deal with you in a way, you know, that is just in his sight. But since you are still, you know, not completely living for him, that he will still vomit you out of his mouth because you make him sick to his stomach. So that word spew, when he says spew, that means vomit. It means to vomit you out of his mouth. And it reads right here, um, he also spoke to the Laodicean church uh, through the Apostle Paul in the book of Colossians. But it didn't really come off as a rebuke. But uh, this, is the work in, this is the word in Revelations. It says, and to the angel of the church of the Laodiceans write, these things says the amen, the faithful and true witness, the beginning of the creation of God. I know your works, that you are neither cold nor hot. I could wish you were cold or hot. And it's not like he says, he, you know, he wishes that none perish. So it's not like his really his desire. But he's saying this. It's like God is saying that it would be, it would be easier to deal with you in this manner. Because, see, one minute, because, see, he's not to be played with, you understand? You can't play with God's heart like he's some like you're like you're some player and he's just some you know like you know like you're just gonna play with his love you understand because he loves everybody and like he's just you know some um some pushover like a like a young you know female who people push over or, or like a you know a virgin young man who's just like you know in a relationship I'm trying to bring it to like a like how you know you're in a relationship with people and you just push them over you just treat them like this you treat them like that well well God okay he loves us and I don't mean that in a carnal sense but um I mean that in the in the sense of agape which is beyond the love that hu uh that mankind has on their own okay this is the love that is supernatural that comes from on high okay and uh this love that he has is for all mankind okay he loves the sinners and he loves he loves the just and he loves the unjust okay he loves the saints and those who you know are of the devil of the children of disobedience however okay um however because somebody could say well didn't you ever say that that god hates yes he does he does hate um that's in psalms um uh what is that psalms i believe 50 but but that word hate it means reject okay and the word love means choose okay and so he's he's willing for you to choose him okay um you know he's calling you you know okay but uh you have to be um you have to accept his calling so basically with the lukewarm church okay and everybody is given this okay whether you're uh whether you're uh you know like it says he uh jacob i love esau i hate it okay now um it didn't mean and see he didn't say that he hates uh the sin he said he hates the the sinner okay so it's hard for it's hard to interpret this if you're doing both okay so he'll just put you in the category as sinner okay he'll put you in the category as a Christian sinner as a <laughs> I'm telling you he said the sons of the kingdom will be cast into outer darkness where there'll be weeping and gnashing of teeth the sons of the kingdom are the kingdom of God okay now um this this is the this is the kingdom in which it's not the kingdom of heaven okay because the kingdom of heaven you have to make it to heaven okay um but these are the people who you know they're in the kingdom of god okay just to let you know psalms 5 verse 5 okay and also 11 5 okay leviticus 20 and 23 proverbs 6 16 through 19 proverbs 22 uh Verses 14, Hosea 9, 15. I just said that, you know, so you guys can look up the scriptures where God shows that he does hate the sinner, okay? He does hate the sinner. He does hate the workers of iniquity, okay? Um, this lawlessness, those are people who are wicked, okay? But at the same time, he, um, at the same time, God, 
he uh, he had a plan from the beginning and his plan was to redeem all mankind back to him and he was going to express his love because you never see where the Bible says that he loved sinners you know what I'm saying but it doesn't matter because he still showed his love for sinners okay because and, and, and the scriptures also say that you know that the word that you know love shouldn't just be in you know in word but it should be in, it's also in power okay so he showed by power the agape power of love by getting his hands okay nailed to the cross and his feet nailed on top of each other okay so this is showing which is more powerful of his love okay for all mankind because it, it says we were once sinners we were yet when we were sinners Christ died for us okay so I bless God but um but see when you are a lukewarm Christian as the Laodicean church okay you are drinking alcohol okay you are cussing okay you are uh doing all these things and I have a word about cussing too God gave me just yesterday um you are doing all these things as the world but yet you still profess Christ but he said you know if you if you hear my he who hears my father's commands and d does them and follows them okay this he said this is how you this is how you show God that you love him you know he said he who uh, hears my father's commands and does them this is the love of God okay okay and he says and he says my commandments uh, are not burdensome they're not grievous okay so so when you love God he, you know you don't do it because like, oh, I gotta do this I gotta. no you do it because you are zealous and you're on fire for God this is what he desires for you to do it's not oh I gotta pray and don't get me wrong if you do feel that way it's natural because but see he's supernatural but it's natural because we are in the flesh okay in the flesh is uh, enmity to God it is um is something that is to be mortified and crucified daily because it is uh, not of God it is not it is you know the Bible says that um that that you know uh, now now we do not walk in con now we do not have condemnation there's no condemnation for those who um, are in Christ Jesus and do not walk according to the flesh but the spirit okay so if you walk according to the flesh yes you are walking in condemnation you know what I mean and so you know we just need to know that because you can be a Christian and walk in the flesh okay if that's not the case then you just you need to get a wake-up call and you're probably walking in pride and you're just above reproach because you know it's been times where I've walked in the flesh uh, many times okay and um, well, that's why we have to crucify the flesh okay if that was the case and you just you're just spiritually you know you're just ascending every day you know no it doesn't work it doesn't work that way okay so what but back to the uh, Laos DC and church okay they don't um, necessarily crucify the flesh they fulfill their desires okay they think they're rich he says right here he says um and I know your works that you are neither cold nor hot I could wish you were cold or hot you know so then because you are lukewarm and neither cold nor hot I will vomit you out of my mouth that's because you're making God sick okay to his stomach okay he has a stomach okay it says because you say I am rich right he said and have become wealthy and have need of nothing and do not know that you are wretched miserable poor blind and naked he said I counsel you to buy from me gold refined in the fire that you may be rich okay and why and that gold refined in the fire I heard a man of God say and this was accurate because it bared witness with my spirit uh, it's, it's refined truth it's divine truth this gold refined is divine truth and he says he said this needs to be refined in the fire that you may be rich and white garments that you may be clothed okay that because you're naked okay he says that you may be clothed that the shame of your nakedness may and see a lot of y'all also are showing your body when you, you see some of y'all like with spandex on I mean like you just look like you're wearing you know pink coat like you're painted in pink okay or some of you might be painted in black if you got black spandex I can see the shape of your body the shape of your butt the shape of your hips okay the shape of your thighs okay how skinny and how wide your legs are that's not my business that's not the world's business okay 
to dress modestly is to wear that with a short little, or, you know, I don't want to say short even, because, you know, forgive me for that, but just, you know, a skirt or a long skirt, you know, something, you know, that can hide that, that shame, okay, because that, God looks at that as shame, okay, and, um, it says, uh, and you need to get the revelation of this because I see tons of Christian sisters doing this, and they're causing men to sin. They're causing men to lust. There, there. It's a Jezebel spirit. It's a because Jezebel wore makeup. Okay, if you read that scripture in the Book of Kings, okay, um, she wore makeup to uh, to seduce uh, this king who God ordered to kill her. Okay, and um, she was eaten by dogs. Okay, even they even ate her, ate her bones. Okay. God, is, this is witchcraft when you to manipulate and, and deceive, okay? That's deception because that's not who you are. Even God is against weave, you know. So many, many people go, especially my sister, they ain't going to get, they're not going to get this because they're a lot. I've been doing this my whole life. Like, you know, yeah, but that's why you are new, like, you know what I'm saying? And, like, we don't even realize that weave comes from Egypt, okay? That's pagan. That's worldly. We... God, you know, and then and it pulls people's hair out, like, you know what I'm saying? When you see me, you see how I look. You see the eyes, the nose, okay? You see the hair, okay? You see my skin complexion. You see my roughy, scruffy beard. Like, you see me, okay? You don't, see, there's nothing hidden, okay? And um, when you start to do this, it's vanity because it's not fulfilling anything that God desires. He made you the way you are and be that, walk in it and embrace it, okay? If your hair is that short, be that, okay? This is lukewarm too because you're, your desires aren't for God, but it's rather for the world, okay? And this is the lukewarm church, but we need to get a revelation, okay? It says, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If anyone, he says, he says, excuse me, he says, um, he says, uh, and anoint your eyes with eye salve, that you may see. As many as I love, I rebuke and chasten. Therefore, be zealous and repent. Be zealous for God. Be zealous to dress modestly as a woman, okay, and to and to do that because the Bible says that. And if you do not do that, then you're completely disobedient to the scriptures, especially if you know, because the scripture says it's better that we uh, that you have not known righteousness than to know righteousness and to reject the holy commandments, okay, and to not do the do not do the holy commandments, okay. So you're walking in, in disobedience, period. And even if you you know you continue to drink alcohol, okay. Like, I'm going to get to that, okay? But anyway, as many as I love, he said, I rebuke and chasten. And, and the scripture says in Hebrews, like, you know, it doesn't feel good, but for a moment, okay? But see, then we realize, because this is what, why we're trained. The scripture says we are trained through the rebukes, okay? That is a training, okay? See, we're in a time of a fluffy church. God rebukes me. Trust me. He rebukes me. You understand? He don't tell me all this stuff that I be seeing people put up on Facebook, and I'm like, what God are they serving? Like, the God that I serve, you know what I'm saying? He continues to rebuke me because he wants me to be prepared for his coming so I can be perfect, okay, on arrival, and that I don't need to say, oh, forgive me for this, when he comes. Like, I'm already forgiven, I'm already walking in repentance, I'm already living perfectly as he desires, okay? That is how he says, be perfect as I am perfect, okay? He don't, he ain't coming back for you if you ain't perfect, Okay? He's not coming back for an uh, he's not coming back for a, a a a church with blemish. Now there are two churches. People always say Philadelphia is the only one. No, check out uh, Smyrna. Okay, they were also without reproach, without rebuke. God only told them, "Listen, you're about to go through some turmoil. You're about to be Satan's about to put you in jail for about ten days, stuff like that." Okay, so we need to be mindful of scriptures, study to show thyself approved. A work may not be a shame, okay? And a lot of us are shameful. We're, we're quoting scriptures, but we're still in our sin. And we don't even recognize our sin as sin. And that is scary. And if you keep operating in this manner, God will place a delusion on you because you refused to heed the truth, okay? And you refused. And, um, and, 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 and you're glorifying and you're worshiping something else. The Bible talks about a stubborn person is an idolater, okay? Uh, and if you're stubborn and you're not heeding the voice of God, you're, you're, you're operating idolatry, which is worshiping yourself, okay? He said, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. He said, If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will come into him and dine with him and he with me. To him who overcomes, I will grant to sit with me. 
on my throne, as I also overcame and sat down with my Father on his throne. He who has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches. And I bless God, I just want to get this out real quick. I just got kicked out of my church. Glory to God, I don't have anything against them, meaning uh, anger or bitterness, you know what I'm saying? But this is also a testimony. Um, as I was going to, because God gave me a dream of, I was killing zombies in this huge black uh, Catholic looking church, and it was just black, okay? And I was with other saints, and we were shooting zombies, which are demons. We were killing them with rifles. And then after that, we stumbled upon of my co-pastor at this particular church and um and 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 see i didn't get the revelation but you know until later but anyway um we stumbled upon him and he was a zombie then he turned into the the co-pastor i'm like whoa like the co-pastor like and after that he said uh he said stop shooting you know he was a zombie stop shooting okay he said stop shooting i let me speak for a moment. And then when he started to speak, one of the brothers who was with me, you know, he was, he's a very gullible uh, person in the natural. He was uh, swayed and, and went into a trance, okay, because he's a novice, you know, to a degree. And um, he went into a trance, okay. And um, when he went into a trance, I was like, wow, like he went into a trance. And then he kept speaking. He was just speaking. And then he started lighting up candles, okay. And, he, and I said, why are you lighting up those candles? He said, this is for the Manchurian Satanic Pentagonia Church. And um, see, this is because they operate out of once saved, always saved. That is doctrinal error, and that is a spirit of error. And when you operate out of a spirit of error, a spirit is a demon, okay? A spirit of timidity, that's a demon. And God told me when I was in this church to pray against the spirit of fear, okay? I have visions of hyenas, which are, which are a manifestation of a spirit of cowardice spirit of fear as well and I seen a van I had a vision of a van with the uh, word fear on the back of it okay now when I said what are you lighting this up for he said this is for the Manchurian satanic pentagonia church now keep in mind the Man Manchurian candidate Manchurian is of course a tribe of Asians but it's also in the likes of uh, mind control okay and that's what God was telling me because the, the guy was under a spell like I told you he was like in a trance the other brother and so, um, also, there were saints who were all dressed in black, and they were black, not the race, but, like, the color black, like, black. And they, uh, and it was blackness over them. And, and, they, and, they, and it was, the, everything, the whole scene was black, and then I woke up, and I was like, wow, like, you know. And, um, this is because of doctrinal error, okay? Now, he's a zombie. This is like that, I don't know when I say this is that lukewarm, but it's like, you're like the living dead, okay? You're the, yeah. The walking dead, like you're the living dead, okay? It's like, you know, cold or hot, like, you know what I'm saying? This is the dream that God gave me, um, and that without the interpretation, and, um, basically, the interpretation is also because, uh, they preach one save, I always say that is a spirit of error, and because you're preaching that, okay? And now God, and they, and these, and their counsel is not of God. This church drinks plenty of alcohol. I know people who stumbled because of the, uh, alcohol that people constantly drink here okay elders um, and it's shown when we go to Bible study at the house all in the cupboard we see you know tons of alcohol like vodka cognac wine okay and I know novices who stumbled I you know people who are cussing okay in the church uh, you know like this is a lukewarm church I gave a word I gave this word okay and I was like nah you know like they they was telling me like you know we don't receive it, and we we're we're worried about your um, you know, we're, and I made sure I spoke soft and gentle, so it can be received, okay? Because it says in the scriptures, let your uh, gentleness be known to all men, okay? So I had to do that to make sure it was received, even though it's a hard word. And see, I was even lied on after that. He was like, you know, that um, after the confrontation that we had, you know, and I'm like, wow, like he emailed that to me, and um. It's just amazing, but I give God glory, and I rejoice, because this is what we are to do. We are to get kicked out of churches, okay? Um, you know, they, they, people, if you read the Bible, people was getting kicked out, okay? They were getting kicked out. They were banned from cities. Forget a church. <laughs> they were banned from cities, you understand? So, uh, you know what I'm saying? We got to do more in the body of Christ, you know what I'm saying? We got to be courageous. We got to do more. In love... But we don't even have to say in love. We just need to do it in love, okay? We don't even have to say, I'm doing this in love. Like, like when he told me he's kicking me out of the church, him and the elders and other men 
are like they agree that I leave the church none of these people have the baptism of the Holy Spirit and I'll get on the word of that they never heard tongues so much stuff and this is sad and I pray for this church continuously and I hope that you guys pray because other churches like this are the Laodicean church and I just want to end on this note you know um but like you know they just came together against me and so they sent me the email and they typed respectfully you know like depart like they're telling me like they're, they're coming to me respectfully but you don't have to type respectfully to let me know that you're coming to me respectfully just be respectful you know what I'm saying like I don't have to say I'm coming to you in love I'm just gonna come to you in love you know what I mean and we know what it is in Romans 12 and 1 Corinthians 13 okay we already know what it is I don't have to say brother in love no I don't have to say love okay and now our job is to also discern what love is okay love is Jesus you know uh in a radical way getting his hands hammered to the cross okay My, some people might say did it really take all that I mean you didn't say a mumbling word you got punched in the face like you know what I'm saying you got mutilated I mean come on did it take all that okay that is love you understand like <laughs> you understand I've been swung on okay during prayer that's love I didn't fight him back the old me probably would have done more than just fight him okay probably would have knocked him out and probably got so angry I would have stabbed him up that's the old me Okay, the new me, okay, the love of God was only so strong that if it landed, I wouldn't have hit him. I'm going to tell you right now. Even I thank God that I blocked it, I still didn't hit him even afterwards, and he left. God took over. Okay, he left. But, um, and I wasn't crying like, stop, please. You know what I'm saying? But I'm just saying like, you know, we are not to be cowards, okay? We are to stand, but we are to stand courageously in love, okay? And um, I want to tell you this to end off on this note, not to get carried away because I do that. Um, upon me asking God, God, do you really have me to come give this word that this church is the church of Laodicea? Now, momentarily, within very short minutes after, I asked God this, even if a minute passed, okay, as I was walking uh, very short blocks away from my church, I passed the church and I saw, uh, because the church had glass windows or glass a clear through see through door I saw um a huge movie screen of the whole congregation looking at football on a movie screen okay now they were dressed in uh football jerseys and stuff like that and I was like wow amazing confirmation amazing confirmation this is last week last Sunday you know what I'm saying okay you'll see the date in which when I uh put this video up you understand this is fresh okay uh, I put the, I'm gonna put this video up this is the 26th of January okay 2013 like this is crazy so then after that I went up to, I felt compelled to go up to the church I went into the I knocked I opened up the door they're looking at me like you know who's this young black man like you know because this is mostly you know whatever and so I go in there they're looking at me like I'm crazy like I'm out of line like you know who are you and uh, I say you know where's the leader okay the man says, you know, the pastor. I said, where's the pastor? He said, um, he's, you know, you want me to go get him? I said, no. Yeah. I said, are you a leader? Who are you? You know, he said, I'm an elder. I said, I just want you to know that you are the confirmation that God gave me. You understand? When I just asked God, does he want me to deliver the message to my church that they are the church of Laodicea? And this man said to me, well, I don't know who Jesus' favorite football team is. Don't you know my spirit was grieved because we think this is a joke. This is the house of prayer. This is the same house of prayer, okay, that Jesus whipped people with, okay, the, with, you know, okay, he whipped people with cords in that place, okay. He cleaned the outer temp, the outer courts, okay, before he even, you know, and then he also cleaned the inner courts, okay. He flipped tables, tossed this, get that out of here, okay, like Jesus wasn't faking, you understand, we got to get it in our mind. What Jesus do we know? You understand? What Jesus are you familiar with? Are you familiar with the Jesus whose eyes are flame, like as flame? Or are you, just re are you just familiar with the Jesus who is, you know, this love and everything he says is just, you know. And I'm, and I'm not talking about agape love. I'm talking about this, you know, yeah, like fluffy, you know, downy soft. Like we got to get our, we got to get this renewed y'all you know what I'm saying the hostile mind does not receive what God has to say the hostile mind is uh, it is 
the carnal mind is hostile towards the things of God, okay? And and, and we, we are carnal. The church is carnal, you understand? We do we are not ready for the, the Jesus who rebukes, okay? Because we get angry at that. You understand? And you're angry at the things of God. If you're angry at the things of God, really, really like really seek God, man. This is dangerous. If you're angry at the doctrine of God, that is very scary, okay? Like, people got angry with me because I told them about movies that God gave me prophetically that we are not to watch in a dream. Our friendship is over, okay? They're like, no, let me come to God on my own time. You know, let me find out on my own. Let my will, let, let my free will come to God on its own. No, let his will be done. Okay? It's not our will, but his. I must decrease. He must increase. Okay? Many of us do not have the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Many of us just have the Holy Spirit, which is not good enough. Okay? It's great in its saving power, and it's good enough to send you to heaven. But we have a ministry to do, okay? A lot of us are still lukewarm. A lot of us don't really have convictions because we are weak in our conscience. Because we are not seeking God, we are still weak in our conscience. Okay, we need to have a strong conscience towards God. Well, we're easily convicted. Are you easily convicted? Or are, does it take a lot for you to be convicted? You understand? Does it take like... Like, man, like, do you have to outwardly do straight up sin? Like, like, I mean, do you have to masturbate to be convicted? Do you have to, like, get drunk to be convicted? Do you have to smoke a cigarette to get convicted? Do you have to say curse words to be convicted? Do you have to actually say curse words? You can say things that are inappropriate without cursing. Do you have to say curse words to get convicted? You know, I mean, come on. I love y'all. I'm praying for y'all. This is the word for the lukewarm church, okay? God looks at you as satanic, okay? That's why he will vomit you out of his mouth, okay? This pastor who preached this word, this co-pastor who I saw who was a zombie at first, I listened as I brought a sinner with me to church. I listened to this pastor. This is a, re it's a reason why this is long, okay? This is 20-something minutes, about to go into 30 minutes. It's a reason why. Because I listened to this pastor, y'all. He said, if you don't read your Bible, and if you don't, this, this is satanic. He said, if you don't read your Bible, and if you don't, you know, pray, you're still saved. Like, all you got to do is believe. Like, we're saved by grace. And he said, by grace alone. The Bible doesn't say that. I haven't seen it yet. Forgive me if I'm wrong, but I have always to continue. I'm humble enough to say, let me find that. I've never read, because you can fall from grace, okay? You can fall. That has never been preached at this church. The Laodicean church does not preach that you can fall from grace. The Laodicean church preaches once saved, always saved. I listen to this man verbally say, word for word, that if you don't read your Bible and if you don't pray, you're still saved. He said, good for you if you do pray and read. Good for you. Good for you. He said it just like that. Just like that. Good for you. He said, but if you don't, you're still saved. That is satanic. You understand? No wonder God showed me that, okay? And that was not a nightmare, okay? They, they came off as if I was hearing from demons. I was getting victory. We were killing zombies, okay? That's not a nightmare. I've had those. We were killing zombies, okay? They were running from us. They were scared, okay? So, um, man, we need to really check ourselves. Looking at these wicked, evil movies. Why? We're saved. Why? How does that interest you? What is... Christ have to do with Bilal, okay? What does darkness have to do with light? Light with darkness. Check yourself. Check yourself. Check yourself. Repent. 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 Jesus is Lord, but is he your Lord? Yes, you believe that he is Lord, but is he your Lord? Are you saved? I don't care if you're Christian. Are you a follower of the way? The early church called it the way. King Agrippa was mocking us when he called us Christians, okay? I did the study on that. He was mocking us, okay? Yes. I believe that I am a Christian, yes. But I do not. I am more a follower of the way. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, okay? Now, we need to keep this in mind, okay? 
He's the life. You understand? What life are you living? Are you living a cold life? Are you living a a a, a hot life? Okay. What light are you living in? Are you are you in light? Are you in darkness? Okay. We need to check ourselves, y'all. And uh, you know, I think that's about it, man. But I hope I really got this point across. I pray right now that somebody gets saved in the name of Jesus behind this. That that somebody gets hungry for the Spirit of God. These people, none of these people in the church have the baptism of the Holy Spirit, from my awareness. None of the leaders did. Okay, they didn't. Some many haven't even heard tongues. Okay. God bless y'all. Peace.